America! Love. An event that was really a pillar of WCW in recent years, NXT has co-opted the name, and they had their show on Tuesday. And really, um, the, the big thing coming out of it, there's a few of them, but the big thing coming out of it was Toxic Attraction. The yeah. faction led by Mandy Rose, they walk out with all the women's championships at uh-huh. the end of Halloween Havocs. <laughs> it was it was yeah yeah i mean hey come on now we have uh, you know what my thing is this i think mandy needed this more than anything uh it's put her in a position to where she got to go out and, and uh be the general um be the one um that that we're going to be going to as far as you know carrying the ball and, and to do that mandy had to step up her her, her game um, as far as her in-ring uh, performance. One thing I, I like about Mandy right now is it's something I, I, I wish a lot of girls can adopt as well as a lot of the guys could adopt. And that is going out there knowing how to uh, take some heat. But when you get some heat, man, know how to lay it in. Know how to look like you know what you're doing. And that's exactly what Mandy Rose is doing right now. No matter what. She looked like she know what she's doing when she's whooping somebody's ass. That right there, I'm going to buy all day long. She's pretty. She's uh, voluptuous. she got all of that going for her. But at the same time, man, she can go in there and throw hands. I always say my favorite of all time, Trish Stratus, had that same quality. She can go out there and, you know, look beautiful. She can go out there and take a beating, take a licking, but keep on ticking. Uh, that's one of those deals uh, that I always loved about Trish Stratus and, and uh, I think uh, same qualities hold here. Yeah, I mean, Mandy Rose winning her first championship, uh, to my knowledge, I think, in, in yeah. her WWE career, um, winning the NXT Women's Championship. You were there when Mandy first came in. She came in through Tough Enough. What yeah. do you remember about what do you remember about the Mandy throughout the Tough Enough time? I just remember how uh, much she wanted it more than anything. Uh, like I say, a very beautiful girl. Um, could pretty much do anything she wanted to do in life. But I saw how much she put herself through the, the ringer um, in that contest. Man, I'm talking about she would bruise herself up so bad. You know, she would be bloody sometime, you know, from, you know, trying to just climb the rope, you know. And um, I was like, man, she could just give up. And they still go to sign her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's one of those type of girls. Um uh, but she fought all the way to the end, even though she didn't win it. Uh, but but she was somebody that showed that, you know, give me a chance and uh, I'll prove you guys that I belong here. Yeah, absolutely. I think that, you know, she could have definitely been written off as just another pretty face yeah. um, in a lot of ways. And, and I think she knew that coming into that industry, especially she came in right at the time of the rise of the uh, you know women's evolution. Right. And yeah. if she if she just came in and was a pretty face, another, you know, you know, model type worker, the fans would have rejected her. But you can tell she's always trying to put in the the next level. And I think that going to NXT and changing the look up, getting a faction around her, uh, this was a it was a great move for her. And I you know, I'm happy that she's the NXT women's champion because it just means she's gonna be on the television more. You know what I'm saying? No, she'll be I mean, on TV more. I mean, shifting gears, uh, you know, dropping down the NXT. Um, creating the faction, becoming a leader, um, and then making her way back to the main roster is definitely going to put her in a position where I think she's a player immediately. This, it, it, when she was on the main roster, for me, it seemed like Mandy Rose was going through on-the-job training. And it seemed like it was so difficult for her to find her footing because everybody there is already established and everybody's a player already. And I'm trying to become one and it's not going to happen because I don't have that following yet. Uh, right. I don't have that seasoning as far as being in the ring and knowing exactly, you know, how to think, you know, one, two and three steps ahead. I'm not there yet, but going to NXT definitely put her in a position to learn all that. And then like I say, when she does make a return to the main roster, SmackDown or Raw, with the whole faction, baby, we cooking with Crisco. <laughs> What's up, this Booker T, two-time Hall of Famer. I know you're checking out the shine, checking out the gloss. I want to thank you guys for checking out Row on YouTube. Hey, don't forget to click and subscribe to check out all the latest content right here each and every week. Now, can you dig that?
sucker. <laughs>